Let's get started now with this spider. I love doing these Minecraft videos. They're just so creative. Oh. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, spiders freak me out so bad. The way they move the little spidey legs and stuff, it freaks me out. So let's do this. So I'm going to start with two basic shapes. He's got the front, I'm using a B pencil. Make it pretty small. A simple line. Just all you want to do is start with square face. And oh, that's what I meant to say. A huge, huge thank you. All new subscribers, all new people checking out my channel. Uh, I am blown away. We've got over, it's over a million views and 200,000 I think right now. And uh, we just broke 17,000 17, subscribers, which is really incredible. I just thank all of you. I can't do it without all of you. Uh, I'm blown away. I, I can't believe this. It's like a dream come true. And So thank you, everyone. So uh, just starting with the basic shape. You can see i got a uh, square here and then rectangular shape. Just you want to make it like a little box. That's all I'm doing now. A simple shape. And then this is the easiest way. Once you got that shape, I'm going to make the back shape, which the back is bigger. It's got like, you know, when you look at a spidey, you know, you have the head and then the huge bottom, the huge butt. The spider's got booty. The spider's got booty, baby. So, you know, like, here's the head and there's the back. So, it's the same principle with the Minecraft spider. And so, the back shape. I'm going to make it big and to make it more dynamic make this line it's crazy how that's why I love drawing because you change one little line it completely changes the, the dynamic of the drawing it makes it better so just add that line down and lightly sketch this you don't really have to put this in because all the little spidey legs will come in but then notice how this line is going a different angle than this this is like that and that's like that so draw that and this line. And all I'm doing is making simple shapes, simple geometric shapes. Uh, and you know that's that's a lot of what drawing is. You know, getting used to shapes and different perspectives. Now that you got that, the legs, eight legs, eight, eight the legs. And the easiest way I'd say is uh, start with one here. And they're rectangular shape too. And really when it comes to the legs, they're kind of fat. So you don't want to make them too skinny yet. Kind of like this. See how this one is? There's one. And then the way they connect, they kind of just hang in there from the, the side. I want to make it a little stylized here. Oh yeah, and there's a little torso part here, that's something else. It connects to this torso, so you want to make another shape here. See, like that little bridge connecting. You can make it about here, I'll make it. So I'll erase that. You can see, and then just connect all the legs to here. It doesn't, it's not too important how you connect it as long as you get the legs in. So here's another. I'm just keeping it simple rectangular shapes that I'll go back later and one more man spiders freak me out though I'm telling you they're so freaky because it's like uh, you never know when they're gonna strike and they're just creepy the way they move man so you know I'm just free sketching the legs there's one more and then you know one more in the back you can make this going more towards the back than the others just to exaggerate how wide the legs are all spread out in this so you see you just make these really simple lines right here just like that and then finish this now that you know where that is or the back and then now that you got those shapes uh, you'll only see maybe two or three on this side so what I'm going to do is just draw a line here another there and one up one up! I said one up! and 
and then make another lake here. And you can see these, same thing, they'll have a blocky look to them. You know, and do your own thing, make it artistic, like I always say. But there you got the spider. Oh, it's so creepy! And then what's so important about this spider is you gotta get the eyes. These eyes freak me out, man. I can't even do this because I'm so freaked out right now. Let's see if I little pictures. So the best way to do you got, just like a real spider, you got a little bunch of eyes, man. Oh my gosh, this freaks me out. Then you got this. And just keep these little square shapes. Then another square shape. Another square shape. And see how they're just coming down? And then on the side, you got these two creepy eyes. Oh, this freaks me out. This freaks me out. Oh, man, I hate this. I don't want to do this anymore. Ah! Damn you, spiders. I damn you to hell. And then see this? You got these two little shapes. And then, very important, this next one, which is the majority of the eyes, it kind of sits a little bit below those two eyes. It's just one big rectangular shape, kind of like that. So like down, then you draw a line in between. Then there's eight little eyes. So just do that. Oh my gosh, this looks creepy as hell. It's so like that. And then for the fangs, Just these rectangular shapes that go up, and it's kind of divided like that. And kind of like that. And you can make them a little longer if you want. But remember, they sit within the, the box shape we made. And the two black fangs are in the middle. So these two are here. Now that you got the basic shape, you know, it's all about just stylize it, go back, and that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, I mean, that's Minecraft, you know, the way I did the other videos. I make a bunch of lines perpendicular and, uh, or not perpendicular, or parallel, you know, to give that texture that it's blocky. But you want to keep these dark, rich lines when, when you do the drawing, so you keep it popping out and it's noticeable. But a big thing is when drawing this, a uh, big thing is, what have to say? I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh my gosh. See how I'm doing the body? And notice how all the lines, notice how there's a dynamic feel to it, that it's not stiff. And that's all because we made the back end at a different angle. Like that. But like I was saying, a big thing is, I think I was about to say, just being artistic with it and remember it's, your drawing's one of a kind. So see how it's darkened and then I'm going to come in and darken these up. Try to keep the lines fairly straight. Yeah, I can't remember what I was going to say. It's charming. Let's just see that. Just like that there. Of course, we'll sh the, the legs get little stripes on the legs. If there's like one, I'm not too worried about getting these lines 100% straight. But you know the best you can. I'm more concerned about making sure when it's finished you can tell their legs. One there and then another here. Do you guys, a big question, I always leave questions lately for people putting the comments and answers. Are you guys freaked out by spiders? If you are, please let me know why. I'm, I'm telling you like, oh, if I see a web and I feel a web on my face, I freak out. I swat at it, I put my face in water, try to get that web off. So you see the little legs and same on this side, just finish these little spidey legs. Like that. Just darken it in. Ouch! I just hit my knee on the table. And then you put this in. 
these legs and now they're spiders. It's a spiders. Oh, yeah, it looks like a spider now. And then for the eyes, uh, of course, I'm looking at a reference photo for the eyes. Uh, but basically, finish up with the eyes here. These are pretty dark. This one's pretty dark. And make sure you really get the eyes, because the eyes are what makes it. You want to make sure they're dark. Dark, and then I believe the middle, I believe these eyes kind of variate. In other words, you know, some are darker, some are lighter. But overall, you just want to kind of get it different things so you can tell it's little spidey eyes. And the fangs here. And this eye darker, this eye is darker. See that, just draw those little squares. I'm telling you, it's hard drawing straight lines, man. I much prefer like anatomy. You can see little fangs. We'll make these fangs wider. I'm gonna make them a little wider. I'm gonna make the bottom just a little lower. Uh, yeah, I guess you can make the fangs a little wider like this. That looks better. There we go, that looks a lot better now. Got the fangs. Then for the rest, we'll finish up real quick and call a day. Uh, like I said, make lines, just be creative. Make several little lines. You know, you don't want to do it exactly like on a grid, but just make a couple lines, whichever direction the lines would be going, um, and shade it in, like shade this in fairly dark. This will probably be the darkest thing on it, besides the, the stripes on the legs. And you can see I'm just shading in the direction. And it's incredible. Once you start adding value, things just pop out. It's, it's mind-blowing. You know, same with the back. Just add a couple little hatches. And then go back and, you know, crisscross a few. For example, you know, make a couple lines like that. And that way it gets that line texture look without actually doing all the grids. And you know, like right here, uh, every once in a while I make a few little spots you know just go with the flow and I'll show you how to do the legs and then I'll let you finish it up on your own legs they have little stripes the stripes the same oh my oh my gosh I'm so wrong I thought they were random then I'm looking at this picture and I'm like holy crap they're not so stripes you got the one on the top and two on the bottom so you got, got so like that, so you got one, this is black, really dark, so all the stripes on the top are really dark, then another row of stripes, which is the lighter one, then another row of stripes, I had no idea they went random, I'm so glad I checked, I would have been embarrassed, and like that, and then another one, little skinny one, Crap, I'm smudging it with my hand. Then one more. And one on the bottom. So these, these all get blackened. I would make it darker on the sides. So you can show it. Then a little lighter on the top. Darker on the side. Just like that, and then this gets darker again. This gets darker. Same here. Just like that, so you got the legs on that side. Then, uh, same thing on this side. Dark. Light. Long dark. Another light, and dark and light. 
So make sure you kind of remember that general pattern. So dark. Dark, dark. So back here I'll do the same thing. Dark. Kind of like that. I'm going to go back and really define my lines more, but I just want to show you enough. So there you go. It's pretty much Minecraft Spider, everyone. Thanks for checking out. I'll have lots more videos on the way. And I appreciate it, everyone. More to come. Holy crap, a spider! Oh man, that freaked me out.